found in Woodland near the village of Chittenham. The woman, said to be in her late twenties, has not yet been named, but it's thought she may have been living rough with a group of hippies in a small encampment on the estate of the 8th Earl of Leyden. Tom Robinson reports. Sorry, Fred. I know Shirley was a good friend of yours. It's so sad. I wish I'd known her. Apparently, she was great. She was. Take a look. We don't know yet. Apparently there was a motorcycle gang in the area. Who found her? Shooting party from the big house. One of the beaters. How long has she been here? Three or four days, sir. We'll know when they... Doing. Did you notice the campers back up the road a bit? She'd moved in with them. What for? Ostensibly, they're some kind of moon freaks into ley lines. Oh, yes. There was all that fuss about moving them off Stonehenge. Yes, well, apparently they're at it again. The thing is, some of them may have other interests. Reds under sleeping bags, Nigel? Could be. You mentioned the big house. Do you mean Jamie Layden's place? Lord Layden, yes. Okay, thanks. Was she raped? Could be. We'll know after the autopsy. <sighs> after all she's been through. Available help. Repeat, as many as you can let me have, over. Okay, message received. Uh, they're on their way, boss. I want them checked out, Lawson. The works, the fine tooth comb, clothes, nail pairings, every lab test in the book. They're a tight bunch. All for one and one for all. Yes, well, so are we. And if these bastards right, get away... Right, calm down. The early mob's on its way.
Don't get too dug in. You're moving on. Oh, right. I gather you know this chap that owns the manor. Yeah. He was kind of a rogue, but apparently he's gone to seed. His friend? In the garden. She hasn't taken it too well. They trained together. Old mates. I know. She told me. Why is he letting them squat on his land? Shirley didn't indicate that she was on to anything, but how do you fancy joining the campers? Not at all. Warminster. Very far? Very. You link into anything? We didn't have time. The cops came snooping around for drugs. Moved us on. What's this? The usual? No. The girl with us was found murdered in the woods. Murdered? Yeah, terrified. Come to the van. She went missing for a few days. We thought she'd hitched a lift. You know how it is. Everything alright? Just listen to them. I mean, you think Shirley was asking for it, yeah? They come from Warminster. Oh, yeah? I was just telling them what's happened. Excuse me. Well, I hope they catch the bastard, you know? Some of the girls are freaking out. But I'm not surprised with a murderer roaming around. Yeah. Warminster. Yeah. Interesting spot. Very powerful ley line. Yeah, so they said. Apparently, the other night, all the tiles and all the roofs were rattling and there was no wind. And there were these big burn holes in the fields. Yeah, that can happen. You know, once all the cars for miles around just stopped, just petered out, and then they started up again. You stayed for the solstice? Yep, that's what we're here for. Game on. Do you want some tea? Oh, yes, please. It is herbal. Just said the magic words. Get your clobber on. We going somewhere then? No, the management don't want you to freeze your rocks off. You know, I've got a complaint to make. I heard a rumour they got coloured tellies down Parkhurst. Get lucky, you might find out. <laughs> on your bike, Watts. Is that a joke? Poor Shirley. Look at a bloke. I think he did something in the city. Didn't sound like her sort at all. Still, I suppose you can never tell. Never came down here. Expect he didn't want to muddy his boots. Mommy. Were you close friends? Well, not really. We, I suppose she mixed in with all of us. Hey, you're bedding her down already, yeah? Supposed to be. Aren't you tired? Come on. There you go. Betty bites, huh? Time for sleep. Hey. Look, look. Who's this, then? Look, don't get her excited, please. No, I won't, I won't. Time for sleep. Hey, look, uh, I don't want to over-dramatise, but if I were you and your friend, I'd look myself in at nights, yeah? We will. Hi. Hi. Do you want a beer? Yeah, thanks. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Thanks. Are you on your own? No, with Fred. 
And what is he? It's not a he, it's a she. You gay? No. <laughs> you. Do I look it? Mm. <laughs> Who are you with? I'm with Frank. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not with anyone at the moment. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Anyway, is this out of bounds? I know he doesn't mind. That's what he's there for. Can I take that? It's OK. I can manage that. You'd like to go to the pub later? Oh, I might do. I'll ask Fred. Why? She reminds us. We mind each other. I think you're a couple of gays. Wait till you see her. What are those stones aligned with? Aligned with? I mean, what else is on this ley line? Terrible sham if you were a dyke. You're not at all interested in this, are you? We could slide off together in my motor. I'm sure Fred wouldn't miss you. I'm sure she would. It's my turn to make the bean curd. We could make more than bean curd together. <laughs> Please don't do that! You're just messing me about, aren't you? There, that should cool you down. I did warn you. Don't. Now, Seth, leave it at that, please. Oh, yes. Seth, this is my friend Fred. Fred, this is Seth. Not very good at holding his own, is he? Them bastards set us up, the ones in the woods. You think it was him, do you? I'm certain it's them. Clean bill, eh? Depends what you mean by clean. Yeah, it didn't have that much form. Frightening old ladies with about top of the bill. Yeah, it frightened me. Yeah, well, like I say. Thank you, Inspector. Where's Lucy? Oh, she's looking after Alice. She's been really upset since they found Shirley, yeah? So anyway, where was I? You were telling us how you first got interested in ley lines. Yeah, right. Well, there was this... crazy article in Freaky Magazine, and like... Well, it's all true, man, you know? I mean, well, it, it all dates from prehistory. The ancient Brits were onto it, and the Romans even built their roads over them. God, that's fascinating, isn't it? Don't you think so, Fred? Fred? Stop stuffing your face with bean curd and contribute something to the conversation. Fascinating. Really. Colin, can you take over for a bit? Alice wants to talk to you. Oh, sure. Game on, yeah. Is that how you got interested in ley lines? Through this freaky magazine article? No, no. That article had some disgusting title. Getting stoned, getting laid. <laughs> All I remember about that was it was translated from some Russian book, thinking how absurd that the Russians should be remotely interested in... Right. What was that noise? In the woods? It's those bikers. Right. Everybody went past the Stop barbed wire, wait a Barbed wire, I saw some barbed wire. Oh, uh, yeah, barbed wire in the meadow, Come yeah? with me now. Okay. Right. This way. Get in the bus! Come on! Come on! Come on, little boy! Right, okay, okay. Weak, Colin. Wait, a shot, you know? To the tree, to the tree. Well, it's hurting my head, yeah? Hey! You're not going anywhere. Get out now. Colin, get the bench! Okay. Help me with the logs, logs. Logs, yes. Ah! 
Shut up! No, Coach! Shut up! Shut up. Okay, okay. Just leave! We've all been set up! All right! Go! All right, I believe you! This time! Right! Go! Move me! Brilliant showers out there. Good drink. All you have to do is shake the branch of a tree. Ah, oh, tea in bed. Just like the marriage fork. Tea? This is your shaving water. Oh, I'll deal with the razor. Got it out of Prava. You know, it's a very good rag. Red rag, but a damn good read. Mm, Swat up on my rattle. Got a degree in Russian lit, Open University. Well, I was going to major in domestic science, but I flunked on suet pudding. You're not one of the educationally deprived, are you? No, very big on the three hours. The fellow who wrote it's their London correspondent, Sergei Krilov. They managed to escape the last purge when their KGB man defected over here. Very bright guy, friend Krilov. Loves a good old West. Bad mouth in his articles, but I think he'd jump off Tower Bridge rather than go. Home. Yes, I've been to a few of their vodka and shrimp paste do. It's not exactly a laugh a minute. Here we are. Getting laid. Play on words. Catchy. Get you right between the eyes. So, comrade Kreloff is into ley lines. Hmm, an intellectual. They're not all cloak and dagger merchants. No, I'm sure they're not. I wonder if you are. <laughs> well, Mr. Creast, you've been a great help. I'm sure that my superiors will be getting in touch with your superiors to say how helpful you've been. Fred? Maggie? Well, it's not the chamber, mate. I was just having a soak. Surprise, surprise. How was it last night? Rough. The bikers tried to do us over. Mind you, that was the easy part. I have to tell you, Maggie, the upper class snore. Can I lay out your shooting jacket, madam, or something for? Honestly, Meg. It was like being in a lighthouse with the fog all going all night. You should have rolled her on her side. She was in the other bag. Where is she now? Well, she's gone up to the big house to make her number with his lordship. Ah, oh, good move. I got the autopsy report on Shirley. And? She wasn't raped. And she wasn't strangled. Pressure on the vagus nerve. Fifteen seconds in just the right spot. A pro? Well, it can't be our Seth. Who's Seth? Oh, he's a randy at the camp. He tried to do a moody with Tess, but he's no black belt. Get your clothes on. You taking me to dinner? No, I'm not. We're going to do a bit of B&E. B&E? Yes. You do the breaking, I'll do the entry. Whatever shall I wear? Imagination, darling, what do you think I'm playing? Oh, I'm frightfully sorry. You must be the vet. You've obviously come to mend the dog. You don't recognize me, do you, Jamie? Good God, I most certainly do. It's Tessa, isn't it? Tessa Robinson. Well done. Ah, hi. Hi. 
Good Lord. I'd never have guessed. What's happened to you? Is your finishing school burned down, or have Harrods opened an Oxfam shop? <laughs> you used to be so smart. And you used to be so rude, and still are. No, darling, it's wonderful to see you. Come on, see where there's a fire. You'll freeze to death in here. It's great to see you, Jamie. I'm oh, sorry, it's Lord Layden now, isn't it? Yeah, as you can see, I got the title, and my brother got the bread. I must admit, the place has changed a bit. The roof's a bit frail here and there, but there's nothing that couldn't be put right by a team of Florentine masons working at full steam for about a quarter of a century. Want a drop of the old red infuriator? No harmful tars or nicotines. No, thanks. Jamie, you're very naughty to let this place go to the dogs. Well, I suppose it would be desperately uncavalier of me to say that you don't look entirely out of place in it. Well, speak for yourself. Anyway, I heard you had a job. Bit of a shock to the old system, eh? Cushy little number at Westminster. Oh, working for the council, are we? Oh, Jamie, enough. Anyway, I'm your guest. Really? Yes, I'm staying at the camp. By the Laystones. I don't believe it. You're interested in that boring pile of bricks down by the wood? I happen to be very interested in ley lines. You wouldn't know a ley line if you trod on one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That kid who was murdered. Yes, of course, that's it. You're with the thought police. Oh, nonsense. I'm here with a girlfriend. Here for the winter solstice. No, 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 no. You're with one of those funny squads. I know, I heard the whisper. Jamie, we had some holiday owed to us. And we decided to go camping. Camping? You? With that bunch of Cinderella's? All trying to overthrow the world just because nobody wants to dance with them. You can't seriously explain me to believe that. My friend happens to be a slim, delectable blonde. Oh, well. Come and stay here, then. I'm already putting one of them on. Jamie, darling. The hot water's gone cold again. Putting one of them up, eh? Dash, darling, I'm heating it up for you. Whole cauldrons of it on the argo. Ooh, does that mean I have to tub in the kitchen? Well, uh, that might be fun. No, no. I'll bring it up to you. American? Yeah. I'll introduce you. Who have you got with you down there? Oh, an old chum from way back. Tessa Robinson, Barbara Dashley. Hi, Tess. Hi. Pardon me, I'm a bit of a mess right now. I'll catch up with you, yo, when I've taken my bath. Oh, and Jamie, shake your ass, will you? It's freezing up here. I'm being as quick as I can, darling. Bloody water waller. That's what I am now. And she knows I can't stand the sight of this stuff. Well, I must say, it's awfully decent of you taking in one of those little Cinderella's. Oh, I well, might under canvas and she was practically knocking my door down. She's probably been bumming her way around Europe, from Hilton to Hilton. Help yourself to a drink, Tessa. I shall along. Do you have any coke? Ah, into the exotic snuff, are we? No, Wally. The non-alcoholic drink that refreshes. Oh, I very much doubt it, but feel free to scout her out while I go and look after the great unwashed. Don't spill this stuff on your little pinkies. So who's this Tessa creature who just dropped in? An old charm. I've known her for years. Yeah? Oh, well. Not nearly well enough. You're a monster. Huh? <sighs> She's one of your lot. She's been grubbing around over yonder in the ley line, freaks. God, she doesn't seem that bright. Oh, yeah, she's bright. She's very bright. Anyway, when are you going back to your friends on the lunatic fringe? Just waiting for this cold snap to ease off? Or until you get bored with me? Then you'll be here until hell freezes over. How are you doing? Hand door was a breeze. This one's not. I've got it. Come in. Алло, алло, товарищ Бандажов, да тут Роцкий у пульта. Шестой. Да. Just leaving or just arriving? This is definitely his domain. 
He must be big. He's got his own samovar. You do the business. I'll have a look round. Correspondent doing with a piece like this. That's the torch. Anybody home? Save myself a few bob. Haven't you heard about the impoverished aristocracy? Never know. Anyway, what the hell are you doing out here? I thought we were all meant to be incommunicado. We are. But I got a bit of stir crazy. I'm on security patrol. Security? <laughs> You're about as secure as my plumbing. And that's leaking like a sieve. Thought you might offer me a drink. I will. As long as you tell me exactly what's going on out there. Don't be bloody silly. I'd be shot for it. Balls. Are you going to nuke my pheasants? That's all I want to know. Look, am I going to get that drink or not? Well, you better come into the kitchen. Is there any really warm room in the house? Wait, wait, I can't see a thing. Jamie, if I break my neck, I'll sue you for zillions. That lot of good that'll do you. The zilch in the back. Um, do you know Harry Caldicott? Oh, yeah, the hunt do. You rode in on the horse. That is something I'm still trying to live down. Oh, come on, it's freezing in here. Oh, what a swine, Harry. Come on, one day there's some decent grub to be had. Ah. You know Tessa Robinson? No, I don't think I did. Ah. Harry Caldicott of the Secret Army, Tessa Robinson of the Secret... Jamie, don't be a pain or I'll ditch this. Oh, no, 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 don't do that, please. I'm starving. Have a pew. Let's go to get a pleasant stew. What else? I live on that and trot. Terrible thing in half the world starving. Are you stationed around here? So, a bit hush hush. Well, should we lay another place? Well, this is not to go around. Yeah, but sure. Is it massive? This is red. Oh, this is red.
are you doing here? I'm just on my way back. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just doing my rounds. Yeah, well, don't forget to lock up, OK? Yeah. Hi. Look, let me give you a run across to the camp of the old battle wagon. No, please don't bother. It's not very far. Anyway, you'll probably get stuck and need the army to pull you out. Never. No blast to do anything. Listen, I noticed you didn't partake. No, it's just not my scene. Well, it's not mine, really. The odd snob, just to be sociable. Oh, well, good night. Listen, let me walk you across there. No, please don't. Uniform put you off. All those lefties over there. What was that Jamie was saying when we were introduced? Something about you being in some secret department. He was talking nonsense. Well, he usually is. But what do you do? Have a job in Whitehall. It's very dull. Look, if I said anything when I was, um, in my cups... Don't I'm... you know? Not total recall, no. But anyway, if I was a little, uh, indiscreet. Let's forget about it, eh? Old pals act, that sort of thing. Oh, pals, are we now? You know what I mean. Listen, can I give you a bell the next time I'm in town? Yeah, I do. Jamie will give you the number. I really, really do hate to see you wandering off all alone like this. Good night, Captain. Harry, please. Good night, Harry! A lot of small talk, and after a while, Dash, this American girl, produced some cocaine, and they got completely dumped. That's correct. What, me? And Calder's. Who must have blown the Hang on, Charlie. Captain Harry Caldercott, Army Security, who must have blown the Official Secrets Act about nine times without pausing for breath. Apparently, Army engineers are doing top secret work on War Department land adjoining this estate. Right, we phone Maggie first thing. You know something? I reckon Nigel must have known something surprise me. There's obviously a lot more going on. All right. We did the Pravda office and we got jumped. But their man only lasted seconds before we sent him into orbit. And the other one looked like he was out for the count. Maggie, he you got your number. Well, that won't do them much good. The fact remains... The fact remains that one of your operatives got killed, and that ley line business is a load good of... cover. For someone, it didn't do Shirley much good. No. Nigel, two of my girls are in the field. Bog, more like. Now, what exactly is happening in that army camp? I think we better bob across to the war house. I think I picked up a little visitor. Ah, such a delicate flower. You can't take rough living. But you can. You're better than you. Army astern. Oh, looks like Calder's. Oh. Bit keen, isn't he?
heard that somewhere. I've read them. There was nothing concrete. Concrete? What do you expect? That they go around with I am a terrorist written on their T-shirts? Whatever she got into, it might have been just before she was killed. There was nothing in her reports that indicated she was in any danger. Well, my God, she was. I'll get them from analysis and have them sent over to you. Well, thank you. What appalls me is that a kid like Shirley should be single-handed sent into a job like that. There'd have been no need if it hadn't been for this damned winter solstice and Leyden, the bloody fool, letting them on his land. When he gets out what our American friends are up to, there'll be a bigger turnout there than Greenham Common. Are you all right? Can you move? I think so. I don't know what happened. The brakes just went. We're just travelling down. All right, all right, take it easy. Ow! Sorry. Can you manage? Well, I no. What about you? Can you stand? I don't think I can. Look, what about me? A few cracked ribs, twisted ankle, covered in bruises. You better have some details from you, sir. Can we do that in a minute? I'm just giving the girls a hand. They can take care of themselves. They're pretty shaken. We'll look after them, don't worry. Now then, name and rank, sir, HQ, etc. Got some ID here. Would you mind coming over to the car, sir? Living rough. We've written off the camper. Were you driving? Oh, no, Fred, not another one. This snow looks so bad on your file. The brake pipes have been cut. Oh. You want a drink? No. Uh, yes, I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll have one of those. Thank you. Can we have another double Somebody wants us out the way. You haven't the van printed? Yes, yeah, it's been towed into headquarters. Forensic are looking at it now. Good. They're building a missile site. Did Nigel know about this? Playing it close again. Oh, God. And Shirley? Was he playing it close with her, too? The campers had moved near War Department land. It was a routine monitoring job. The police had fingerprinted them for elimination purposes over Shirley. Some of them had some minor form, but nothing heavy. I bet there's one camper who hasn't been checked. Oh? The American girl, Barbara Dashley, the one who shacks up with Jamie Layden. What do you know about her? Spoilt brat. Been doing Europe, one of those open-ended sabbaticals. Well, perhaps you'd better get her dabs, too. And uh, try to get a picture while you're at it. OK. I'll check up on the camper. What are you doing here? Those two girls are back, and one of them was taking pictures of you. Was the other one a little blonde with a black hat? Yeah. Oh, God. My prints are all over that map. Have they gone back to the camp? Yeah, they drive back to town, but I got the car number. Give it to me.
ou des vitimes. James Daniels, Seth Daniels, student activist, small stuff, nothing exceptional. Clumsy though, he must have wriggled out from under a bit quick, he left his prints halfway up the door. Barbara Dashley is wanted all over Europe, daughter of a Polish emigre in the States. He got life for passing secrets to the Russians. You try to play the hero. Yeah, I would do. He would do just that. You better come with me, Tess. You know the terrain. I'll get some backup, okay, Fred? We need some roadblocks too. Well do.
bit late, fellas. War's over. 